All our songs were about it. A magical place of life without end. A palace of untold wonders. But only for the worthy. So our lives were desperately dedicated to qualify. Pinpoint perspective on the great reward. Only... I never wanted to go. Those words alone could mean death. So when I ran, I knew it meant never stopping to catch my breath. If I wanted to live. And so it was. Yet here I am. The place I spent my whole life escaping. I feel like shit. Of course you do. Your wound has healed. The pain is from the stasis and will pass within a week. The nausea will linger, probably intensify when you start to realize that more than a hundred years have passed. Everything you knew is gone. This is not another one of your running away from home excursions. Your grandfather won't send someone to pick you up this time. That's all gone now. So you decided not to like me. <laughs> but you've had a century to plan what to say, and that's it. How about you screwed up the best deal we ever had, or you come waltzing in here giving orders? Or, or even, Foster died because of you, you stupid bitch. <laughs> I don't like me much either. But I can fix this. I can bring him back. I don't know how you hope to achieve that, little miss, but I suggest you start your efforts by laying back down. Loss of motor skills is common even for experienced long haulers, which I suspect you are not. I suppose you had a long time to mull things over. Nothing I can say will change your mind. Hello everyone, and welcome to Muscle Gerbil Plays Echo. So it appears we've just woken up from a hundred year sleep. Right there on that table. No oxygen tent, no seemingly cryostasis, just lay on the table and fall asleep for a hundred years. It's very advanced technology. Let's see what this prompt does. Oh, yeah. Probably should make our bed after a hundred years. Good start to the day when you make your bed. Well, there's quite a number of pods in here. Pods, beds, whatever they are. Let's explore the ship. Very monochromatic. Very clean, though. So where is he? He? Oh, you mean the cube. Yes, I had a very good look at that while you were asleep. I think you're in for a disappointment. Nothing suggests any sentience. No interface to access the thing, nor any reason to do so. There's nothing in there. It's just a pretty cube. If we knew how to operate it, we wouldn't have had to come here. This is how I see it. You don't answer to my orders, and yet you took us this far, so clearly, I'm not the only one hoping that I can achieve something. I can work with that. Not hope. Respect. For Foster. God knows why, but he wanted me here. The stupid lighter proves it. I suspect staying wasn't even an option, considering how you stumbled on board covered in blood, demanding departure a week ahead of schedule. Yeah. Respect, then. 
That'll work too. So, Echo. This is a game from a studio called Ultra Ultra, based in Denmark. It is their first and unfortunately only game they ever made. It is a stealth action game that supposedly uses adaptive AI to increase the challenge so that the enemy will learn what you do and counter it. And we'll find out as we get deeper in. We follow the blue light. See what awaits us on the other side of this blue door. Rose Leslie as N. Nick Bolton as London. Game and level designer, Morton Hedegren. Lead programmer, Robin Malm. Programmer, Vincent Baden. Character artist, Zordan Beck. Environment and shader artist, Yuck Hegstrom. Animator, Mads Herman Johansson. Music, Bjark Neiman. Sound, Simon Holm Liest. Writer and producer, Cristel Cecile Grabeck. Art and game design, art and game director, Martin M. Borg. I am pretty certain I butchered a lot of those names. I do apologize for the people that worked hard on this game. Let's see what kind of view we have from our giant granola bar looking spaceship. Is that a moon? Is that a planet? We are in deep space right now. Just the empty void of space and the moon or the planet. We've got a nice little lounge area. Got some tea, got some books. Looks like a nice warm afghan and a cube okay let's grab the cube i need a suit I don't see anything but ice. It's not ice. I don't know that we can even trust what we see. This whole planet eluded detection until about a week ago. No visual cues, no gravitational pull, nothing. Even with the exact coordinates, I nearly missed it. We're looking for a palace. Why am I not surprised? Give it a rest, will you? Can you see any structures on the planet? You're looking at it. It's all one big structure, planet-wide. No palace, though. I'm guessing it's some corporate state's illegitimate mining project from the pre-requisition rush. That would explain the heavy clouding measures. The planet is most likely depleted of all resources. An empty shell. I hope the old man didn't pay too much for the coordinates. You have no idea. Just get me down there. I'll go see for myself.
get off the surface too. What a strange place. It's impressive, really. I'm enabling the suit's assist mode to compensate for your inexperience. Aha! Got a Metal Gear Solid 4 style threat ring on this very weird planet. It's just endless rows and rows of white cubes with looks like some mechanical parts underneath the surface, but according to London, the disembodied voice, it's not ice. Where could it be? He's got a prompt. Interact. There's something here. It must be some sort of release mechanism. Did you hear that? It's definitely doing something. It's opening up the central chamber. Oh, this doesn't look safe. Look, there's an opening down there. It's too far to jump, though. The suit will soften your landing if charged sufficiently. And if not? It will stop you from leaping. Okay, so... The suit's in charge. Let's get a running start on this. Ah! <laughs> The suit reads your intentions from your synaptic activity and receives commands from your voice or eye movements. A bit archaic, but Foster trusted that suit with his life. Cutting edge doesn't go well with space travel. The journey here alone made the suit an antique. It's not the suit's performance that worries me. We got a little explanation of the suit so like it stores energy in our cells and it'll use up cells when we do certain actions like jumping all right so jumping costs a cell and it can use up to one or two cells depending on the distance heights between four and 15 meters as a dumb American, I do not know what four to fifteen meters would even be. I'll probably I'll put a little description up for other Americans watching this. They don't know their meters, because I certainly don't. Let's continue. This isn't ice. What is it? It's falling apart. It all looks strangely warped. I wonder how long it's been here. A composite like that should last forever, but it all looks ready to crumble. It must be ancient. Okay, L3 crouches. It's good to know in a stealth game. Get lower to the ground, make less noise. This place was made for humans. It's not just a machine mine. Most digs have a basic infrastructure if human presence should be needed. Probably also rudimentary living quarters. Doesn't mean anyone was ever here, though. Grants believe the place to be untouched by humans. A palace built by long-lost technology, patiently awaiting its first human inhabitants. And you figure this is no more than a bootleg mining operation. Got to appreciate the contrast. I generally lean towards plausible explanations. Your grandfather, well, everything he believed in, he made up himself. I don't know about that. He had the coordinates right. Look around you. 
This obviously isn't a palace. Your man might have gotten some aesthetic details wrong. But he wasn't the kind of person who'd risk everything without some kind of proof. I really wouldn't get my hopes up. How do I turn down the volume on the commentary track? You are overconfident. Immature people often are. You should be taking notes every time I open my mouth. Okay, so it's a machine mining operation, is what our friend London thinks. It's got structures for humanoids to access in case you, know, you need to do maintenance on the robots or gain access to the facility. I like that explanation. Um, in some sci-fi stuff, I've always wondered why humans can access alien structures quite easily, even though if it was an alien structure, no human should be able to access it because we're different physiology, different abilities, or if something was made completely by robots, why would they build anything available to humans? But I guess if you need to get access to it, you build it in. What am I descending? Oh. Super fun, happy slide. Oh, yep. Slippery. But it's not ice. What is it? What exactly are these structures then? Have you seen others like them since you're such an expert? I've had my fair share of halls based on wild speculation. It doesn't matter if it comes from desperate need or delusions of grandeur. There's never anything there but bitter disappointment. Was this with Foster? Before Foster. I got the feeling you two have been together for ages. I've been crisscrossing the spur for a thousand years. Foster was with me for a century and a half. Okay, so London is some kind of AI if he's been doing this for a thousand years. Or maybe we're so far into the future that we figured out a way to expand our life cycles to that long of a period. Oh, that's a long way down. Why'd my helmet just change? No, steps. Oh shit. Okay. Um, move quickly but safely. Safety first. If you've only been with Foster for a century and a half, you hardly knew him at all. I mean, we've been traveling together for a century, and we only just met. A hundred year haul is quite the extreme. Foster's longest was 16. I knew him plenty. He trusted you, and said that I could too, that you would help me. Foster didn't leave me much choice. You don't mess up a job for your grandfather, and then team up with the person you were sent out to get in the first place. You could have just handed me back. You really are naive. I think you're doing this because you believe there's a chance to get your friend back. You're so caught up in your homemade religion that you're oblivious to common sense. I warned Foster about you resourcefuls. Best not to deal with your kind. Why did he then? Get involved, I mean. Foster disagreed. And gold makes for a powerful argument. Wait, hold up. Gold? We have interstellar space travel. Gold is abundant throughout the universe. If we have mining operations like this on a unknown planet gold wouldn't really be that valuable if you could harvest that much of it supply basic supply and demand if you have a huge supply of gold price goes down I think there would be some kind of different material some you know weird sci-fi thing they could have come up with but whatever, I guess gold will 
forever be valuable. There must be a way inside down there. That looks like some kind of landing bay. It looks like nothing of the sort. You know, you're nothing like I expected from a friend of Foster's. Such an odd team. An old rescue vessel from the Requisition and a man without a past. None of our marks knew what hit them. And then we were gone. The stuff we pulled off. You wouldn't believe it. I believe it. I was one of your jobs. A thieving rich kid with a gambling problem hardly qualifies. I got the brief. Not much of an extraction, really. No one giving a shit about you where you dug down. Only challenge Foster could see was that your grandfather wanted you to willingly hand back whatever it was you stole from him. You're wrong about everything. Even Foster. I seriously doubt that I am. He was good, Foster. Always had his eye on the ball. You may think you knew him, that he felt sorry for you, but he would never let that happen. I don't know what went wrong that night, why Foster died, but I'm sure you don't understand much of it either. Sorry, I didn't mean to threaten your romance. Cute. So I guess London and Foster were thick as thieves and stealing stuff in and out. Kind of door. Locked. It's stuck. I need some force. Does the gun pack any punch? Well, what? This this is the plan. Just shoot it. All right, let's take a couple steps back here. All right. Cost one cell to fire my gun. That's all I've got. So let's hope this works. Wow. I like it. I'm taking the gun offline to preserve energy. Oh, come on, London. Don't take my gun offline. That's not cool. So, we've descended deep, deep down on the planet find a mysterious door we're gonna find out what's behind this door next up